Hey guys, and welcome back to another Trackman tutorial video. Today we're going to be going over some release notes for TPS 7.5 and all of the cool things that come along with it. So let's get right into it. One of the main focuses of the release of Trackman Performance Studio 7.5 are our games. So if we go to the Games tab in the top left hand corner and select Bullseye and click Next, you'll see we have now a fourth environment that you're able to choose. Jurassic, obviously it's a prehistoric themed environment. Uh, the same expert skill and beginner skill levels all apply as well as the custom game just like the previous version of Trackman Formal Studio as well as the other three. Uh, if we go back, the next thing we can take a look at is Capture the Flag. Previously, we only had one environment available to play in Capture the Flag, and now we have four. The same environments able to be played in Bullseye. Additionally, you may recognize the Conquer Range as the original environment that we offered in Capture the Flag in previous versions of Trackman Performance Studio. Now let's go back to the Games tab and check out the third and final update to one of our games. Last but not least is Hit It our long drive game. If you press next, you'll see the addition of our event mode. Up to this point, you are only able to basically start a hit it game where you could have a predetermined amount of players play in your event, whereas this event mode enables you to start a hit it event and be able to basically have it running all day long just like a closest to the pin competition where you can continually add more and more players. Obviously this is beneficial for an environment where you don't know how many customers or players you may have walking in through the door and you can just leave it running all day long. Uh, if we go back and then head over to the courses tab we'll be able to see our last release that TPS 7.5 brings. So if we select a course and go into game settings, you'll see that we have a couple new game types all the way down at the bottom. We have basically uh, foursomes, which is also known as alternate shot, in stroke play, match play, and stableford. All three of these game types have their respective descriptions off to the right once you select them and you'll see once you choose one of them it does require that you fill in the appropriate number of players to satisfy the amount of players needed for the specific game type chosen. And there you go. So if you have any other questions please feel free to reference our support website. You can also reach out to our support team or even your local sales rep. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time.